Okay, let me just get one thing out of the way before starting this video. I do not think Fortnite is a bad game, nor do I think it's a good game either, and we'll get to why later on. For those of you who don't know what Fortnite is, first off, welcome to Earth. The year is 2018. I say this due to the only living beings not knowing what Fortnite is are either astronauts that came back from being lost in space, aliens, time travelers, or time traveling aliens. Fortnite is a game that takes inspiration from the Battle Royale genre. Battle Royale is a newer genre of games that takes about 100 players, drops them in a large battlefield where they pick up weapons and other items to aid them to become the victor in this large free-for-all battle. Pretty much just what The Hunger Games is based on. Only one comes up victorious unless the player chooses to be in a team, then the players on the team win the game. That is, if they all don't die. Other games have done this before. Some examples include Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which I have a video planned on, and spoilers, it is not a kind one. H1Z1, Realm Royale, Total Accurate Battlegrounds, and Radical Heights. Rest in peace, Radical Heights. You're one of the only ones I ever liked. Now for some reason, even though others have done this before, Fortnite seems to be the one that has gotten the most popularity. I cannot explain why though. Maybe it's because of its design, gameplay, art style, the fact that it has some hidden lore, who knows. Now for my opinion, I think it's a good game. I casually play it, and I'd stream it if I felt like streaming more often. Uh, Twitch and Mixer links uh, down in the description below, I'd, I'd really like it if you check them out. The concept of building to get around or to provide cover is a very intriguing feature in my opinion. I like the way the players drop in as well. The battle bus is actually <laughs> kind of a, I would say, a pretty unique way of transportation. Yeah. The design of the characters, while cartoony, are very appealing to the eye and provide a bit more, uh, family-friendly design. Even though there is no blood in the game or gore or, uh, prawn, I still don't recommend the game for younger children. If I were the ESRB... I'd, I'd either give it an E10+, plus or a T for teen. For cartoon, fantasy violence, you know, all that stuff. Weapons, guns, bang bang. The whole V-Bucks thing, I don't mind. Even though getting them is a real pain in my arse. But virtual currency and loot boxes are their own video for the future. Overall, I give Fortnite a 6 out of 10. I would have given it a higher score if it weren't for one factor that turns just about every big thing, whether it be a game, a show, a movie, or just a fandom in general. That, my dear viewers, is oversaturation. I have seen countless fandoms get shot on because of this factor. Take Five Nights at Freddy's, Undertale, and Cuphead for example. All three are games that gained a massive cult following but in their prime were talked down upon because they were oversaturated. Now, I love Undertale, I like Five Nights at Freddy's, and I think Cuphead is a decent direction for side-scrolling games. Do I think they're the best games? Hell no. Do I think they're good? Yes, I'll admit, when Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale first came out, I was obsessed over them. If you saw my old DeviantArt account, you'd see the phases of certain things I've went through. That was all just because my Asperger's syndrome was like, Hey, I like that thing. Let that thing consume every fiber of your person. Now that is something that I have no control over. When I obsess over something, I can obsess with it from either a week to almost a year. Back to Fortnite. This game is going through the same problems that these games went through. Mainly oversaturation. The reason this pumps my piston is because when something like this gets as oversaturated as this, you never, ever stop hearing about it. Then there's people like LEA, whoever exaggerates, lies, and clickbaits, just because the brainlet knows it will get them views and money along with it. While most of that has died down as of making this video, it still leaves the aftertaste and it's a bitter one. Again, I don't think Fortnite is a bad game. Oversaturation just ruins a lot of things. It can ruin anything. But hey... 
Just because something is oversaturated doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. I'm just happy some people get more pleasure out of this game than I can. At least we can all agree that it's more optimized and better planned out than PUBG. If you liked my video, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Leave a comment stating your opinion on Fortnite or any other Battle Royale game, and maybe even my video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.